So now we're in the middle of what we're beginning up in the middle of uh, what they call award season. It used to be called the Academy. Well, the Academy Awards are coming up. They they announced the, the contenders or whatever have you. So it got me to thinking. I've been uh, you know usually around this time you say what's your favorite films blah 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 all the time and stuff you know on my list of courses like Watch Stacks and and um, a bunch of other things you know like uh, I, mean, I, I this this films that I really really like you know. Um, but I guess all-time favorite, I don't really have an all-time favorite per se, but some, some films I really appreciate, like on everybody's list, for instance, is, is like Shawshank Redemption, um, uh, with Citizen Kane, of course. Um, out of that kind of classic films, I mean, I really like uh, Rules of the Game, you know, a genre. No. Anyway, um, for a number of reasons, um, but I like Rules of the Game a lot, uh, photography and all the rest of that stuff. But there's other films that I really appreciate, like for instance, uh, Intolerance by D.W. Griffith and all the rest of it. These are classic films. But um, in modern times, I mean, after all that time, I guess I've been, I, I like The Godfather a lot. And I recently came across a, a thing on, on YouTube about The Godfather. It was a, a English a professor from England, you know, Great Britain, wherever, whatever they call the country these days, um, uh, talking about how The, the Godfather and uh, um, it's based on, not based on, but it's like a, you know, you know, you got Henry IV, Henry V, that, that kind of trilogy, like Henry IV, Henry IV, Henry IV, Henry IV, Henry II, Henry V kind of thing. Um, and you know, the, but it, it explains the thing about it, but also remember a lot of these stories that you get uh, um, come from your, un, I say your unconscious, but some, something that you've been living with, whatever have you, uh, like for instance, I'll give you a, a great example, Superman for instance. Superman is nothing but uh, the, the Jesus myth. That's all it is. The Jesus myth. Is the, look, I'm sorry. The Jesus story. The greatest story ever told. No, those kind of things. So a lot of the stories that are, that are told, and they they come from uh, they come from uh, they're informed by other things. You see, that's why, for instance, uh, 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 this year they have um, uh, one of the films I like really like. This was is, is Get Out, for instance. And that's that, that to me. Well, he says he was informed by uh, what he liked, uh, Stephanie Wives, and I think Rosemary's Baby, something like that. But the story to me is a, is really original. So I'm interested in not just with the adapted story. So the, the telling of a story, the, the writing. I'm really more interested in writing than in a lot of other stuff that about a film. Uh, so uh, in The Godfather. It's just incredible writing. The writing is amazing. Sure, and, and, and when, when you look at it too, when you look at that film, everybody, remember, everybody is acting. I mean, I mean, I mean I'm sorry, I shouldn't say it that way. But all the characters, uh, the actors are really, they're, they just embody their, their, their thing. I think it may be the same feeling, maybe it's not the same feeling, but it seems to me like I'm, I'm anticipating Black Panther, for instance. I think that everybody that's involved with that knows that it's a classic. That, 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 that everybody is going to is going to bring their A game, as they say, or they're going to act. Uh, for instance, let me go back to Godfather for a second. They did it in Godfather 1 and 2. I'm just talking about Godfather 1, but let's go to Godfather 2 for a second. If you look at Diane Keaton, uh, especially in, in, in court, and the, when he's testifying with the, with, the, with the Senate and all this stuff about he's killing these people, whatever have you, if she's in the shot in the background, but she's her acting is like amazing in that film. Really, thing. the same thing in, in, in part in part uh, one. You see Robert Duvall. He's really acting. So what I'm trying to say is that you know you have your main acting people, Marlon Brando, you know, Al Pacino, you know, uh, like that. Uh, but the, the, some of the other characters, the less the so-called lesser roles or whatever it is, they were really acting. George, uh, uh, just. Just amazing acting, uh, uh, John uh, Corzon, whatever his name is, uh, Fredo, the Fredo character. But this professor was bringing up this thing. He was talking about the film is really about deception, and it got me to thinking. Then I started I remember, I was very thinking. About, the film is the whole film is about everybody is is deceptive. Everybody is lying. <laughs> That's what it is. But then I'm thinking, wait a second, whoa. This is very interesting because remember, Godfather is, is a closed kind of film, you know. And when I say film, I mean the the the, the story is closed in, in, into this mafia family, you know. The, the, this this mafia family happens around them. They, they don't really visit the outside. When they go outside, when they go to that the, 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 the big time producer's house in in, in 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 Hollywood or whatever have you, and and there, then you have a little bit of outside because you have some black characters, you know, the the, the guy that's the, 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 
as a grooming horse, you know, a Tony or something like that. Then, of course, the servants, you know, you see, there's only black people you really see in the film. They talk about black people, but, you know, they talk about a lot of people. But, but, but for the most part, that's a, just, it's just about that, that mafia family. You don't go outside of that. But because of that, I was thinking about, yeah, black people. How are black people feeling, deal with, with the Godfather in that, in that film? And I say, it's not possible. No, it's not possible because that's the problem. I'm not talking. About, I'm, I'm not really into race, but I have to talk about it like this. Black people don't deceive. Don't get me wrong. I know, but I know what you're gonna say. That, that, that. but for, but there's not a black people are not deceptive. They're deceptive. Yes, when they get to, when they get to the, the whole uh, uh, what you, uh, what you, what you, that thing where you, you 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 imitate your waters, you imitate your thing. Yeah, that kind of. But in 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 a, in a real sense, black folks are not deceptive. Just an opinion from me. T from the past is taking the train to pretend. I said that wrong, didn't I? I was deceptive there. Me, T, from the palace, is taking the train to Tibet, letting you know when I only suspect.